2019 Thank has been made for me already. That Whoa. was so well done. Thank you guys are so such much. a good team. Thank you. That was actually our first time performing that song, not only in The Loft, ever. but ever in history. No way. Ever. Mm -hmm. ever. Yeah, and your timing was so cool. Like, when you take the mic, and, I mean, I know, how do you amazing. train yourself to do those moves? Like, how does it It's just, work? you know, it's, I, mean, I choreograph all my routines, also with the dancers, so oh, I wow. enjoy it so much. Amazing. Now, you guys have got some really interesting stories to tell us. So I'm going to start with you, ladies, first, of course. Travelling to Champagne with Usain Bolt. Yeah. I mean, that what? was pretty amazing, I won't sure. lie. You know, Champagne is one thing, but it's not Champagne until you've had it in Champagne. champagne. You know what I mean, exactly. darling? Which is really, really cool. I actually work with GH Movement in South Africa, and they have ambassadors all around the world. So not too long ago, and in September, actually, we all went to go and meet at GH Movement HQ, and it's like people from, like, China, and people from, like, the States, and, like, obviously... And Usain Bolt. Yeah, and Usain Bolt. Okay, but you know, he's a DJ. He's a DJ, he's a soccer player, he's a and he is the and life so of hot. the party. You want to yeah. party with Usain Bolt, trust me, he knows how to turn it up. So we're actually not only there partying and drinking champagne, we're shooting a really cool Vice special. So anybody who knows what Vice is, you know Vice what Vice is. Vice is literally my favorite thing to watch. I know, it's the best it's thing the ever. Best. So they collaborated with GH Mom to tell 10 stories of 10 of their biggest ambassadors around the world, myself representing the motherland, and basically how we are the most victorious people in our field. So there's people in motorsports, we have people who like like, who else was there that was famous running. that we would know? I was the most famous person there, Jenny. Yeah, That's obviously. <laughs> you know, they had like really interesting people because it wasn't only about like being a famous person, it was just about being victorious in your field. So they had this lady there, her name is Kate Peck. She's like really big in motorsports. She's yeah. kind of like the Robert Marawa of motorsports in Amazing. Australia. And then there was a guy, another guy, his name was Blake. He like does the Volvo racing where so they like are you besties race across now? the ocean. We are besties. With, I've and got are you besties with Usain? I don't want to be Usain's bestie because he parties way too hard. Really? Yeah, I'm going to stay away from Usain. Amazing. love when they do this. Okay. We friends. Oh, sorry. Surely there was a briefing beforehand? Okay, so you're going to have to do that answer again, but you can't say GH, Mom. Okay, or Volvo. Sorry, or yeah, Volvo. Okay. 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 Any other brands? Okay, got you. Okay. Three, two. Okay, so you had an amazing time. Let's discuss traveling to France with Usain Bolt. Yeah, you know, that was awesome. It was all about champagne, and you haven't had champagne until you do it in champagne. But we weren't actually just there partying. We were shooting a really cool Vice special. Now, anybody who knows Vice knows they're like the best storytellers in the world. So I got to be one of 10 ambassadors chosen to be a part of like one of their films of telling their stories of how they are so victorious in their field. So it was really amazing. Incredible. And what a beautiful part of the world. It's amazing. Amazing. And you know, you always hear these stories about French people being rude. They're not rude, they just don't speak English. You know yeah. what I mean? No, I love the French. Yeah, so they're actually really Man. cool. They were super helpful and I had such a great time. Also, I went with Bay, so it was like a bit of a vacation. Amazing. As well. And Usain Bolt is a DJ and he's just super fun. He's a DJ, he's a soccer player, obviously a running legend, and he's also the life of the party. He's coming to the Mets. So yeah. when we're at the Mets, let's make sure we link up yeah, with him. Yeah, he was there last year up. as well, yeah. and he's just, he's incredible. Yeah. I had to give my car to him for him to drive while he was oh, here. Oh, he's story. so nice. <laughs> he's so nice. <laughs> I should have driven him around. Okay, then you've got another unbelievable story. When I read it, I thought, wow, this is so inspiring. I heard that before you got Lady Black Mombazo to perform with you, you literally like hounded them for about three years. Tell me that story from the beginning. Hounded them for <laughs> two years. Um, <laughs> my, my DJ, uh, he goes to church with one of the members, uh, yeah. Mr. Shabalala, Bob Shabalala. So he was like, yo, I got a friend who's good, he's, good. he's like, he does like cultural stuff. Sure. So he was like, I. Send them partner, like send it through. And then I sent him the song and they loved it. Then they were always busy, they're always traveling and stuff. So they're like, find a way of sampling us in a good way because we had to get permission. So that's what we did. We got all the recordings and we mixed it into the song and it was magic. 
So adding like an EDM element or like a... Uh, more Zulu-based Zulu feel. Base. Yeah, Zulu-based is a storytelling yeah. in my own way, but dancing also with fun and stuff. So Would you play it a, in the club? Yeah, you can play in really? the club. Like bang, gussie bang, come on. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> but the interesting story is how I got So It's a Gospel. Yeah, now that me. Now that was fun because I DM'd them. I'm a DM king. You'd be <laughs> sliding in these DMs. I DM'd, I DM'd So It's a Gospel on Twitter. And then they gave me their the website. I was like, why they give me a website? So I clicked on the website. Then I sent a message. You know those messages that she writes like, hey, I'm, I'm a breeze, upcoming rapper, blah, 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 blah. And then I sent it to them. Then I got an Autobot. I was so angry. Like, oh, Autobot no. will get back to you overseas. Then Beverly replied. She manages so it's she replied. She's like, okay, cool, we keen, let's hear the song. I sent them the song and then they loved the song and then they said, okay, we can record next month. Yeah. And then my studio's small, so it's not big. So they're like, okay, there's 15 I heard it was coming. in the basement of your house. No, I recorded the song at home. Okay. I kept it for two years because I wanted so it's a gospel. Yeah. So I kept it for two years for so it's a gospel. Wow. And then when I, they said, okay, we're coming through next month, get us 15 uh, headsets. Went to Randburg, streets of Randburg, got 15 headsets. They were cheap, but there was 15, and they worked at that, that day. So yeah, it was, it was fun, it was exciting. Wow. What an amazing experience. Cool yes. So you know what I actually heard, and you can ask him, I'm a wealth of useless information, but apparently when a choir sings in unison, their hearts actually start beating at the same time. I actually, I, I don't know that, but you actually feel it. <laughs> I know it. it. It's scientifically yeah. proven. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but it's true, but you can feel it. Yeah, hey? you can feel it. Like, the aura in the room was crazy. Like, old days more, like, I made them sing on a more vibey song. So oh. it was exciting, yeah. It was their first, like, song they did with the rapper. They did perform a chance to rapper, but when I gave them that song, they were like, okay, this is a perfect opportunity. And they were just coming from that, so my timing was perfect. Oh, what a beautiful yeah. experience. Yeah. I actually can't wait to hear it. I haven't heard it. I want to hear it. Will you, will get you the album, please. <laughs> yeah. I'll get the album with yeah. absolute pleasure. But, you know, if you think about you sliding into their DMs and saying, hey, I'm an up-and-coming guy, like, how many times does that happen to you, that people kind of slide into your DMs, and then do you help them? Like, what kind of messages do you get? Yeah, man, it happens to me all the time. I think even more, especially after the, I opened the record label, <laughs> so many young kids constantly hitting me up. And we have a lot of talented people people in this country, yeah. you know, we really, really do. But I think more than anything, people wanting to be helped. I love that people have that energy to put themselves out there. I don't think I would have ever slid in Lady Smith, Black Mambazo's DMs or like Gospel of Christ's DMs. I don't DMs. think they would have mind. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So it's really great that we have like such ambitious people who are not waiting at home for something to happen. Yeah. They're putting themselves out there. And it's nice for you guys to then pay it forward yeah. to yeah. the next gen of talent. Okay, your new album? Amazing. Yeah. How's it been received so far? The album is doing really, really well. I'm actually well on the way to becoming the first female hip hop artist to go gold, which is really, really amazing. Yeah. So um, everybody's got to yes. buy. Everybody's yes. got to buy your album. Everybody's got to buy it. It's like, a hashtag. Get Moosley Gold. Yeah. Get <laughs> yeah. Moosley Gold. Let's make that a 2019 <laughs> yeah. hashtag. You know. So I'm very, very excited. It's been well received. I've also got incredible collaborations. You know. I always say in all my interviews that SA Hip Hop was built on the back of collaborations. You know. Yeah. So it is always important for us as artists to continue to collaborate on our album. So for me, I've got Rouge on my album as well. I've got Tubsy on my album. We both have those two artists. I've got AKA, Yanga. So to see all of that work starting to pay off is really, really You guys amazing. have collaborated with everybody except for me. So we're awkward now. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Can we eat quiet. now? <laughs> yeah, we collaborated in the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Can we eat now? <laughs> OK, should we give this a try? Let's do it. I'm going to go wow. for dessert first. Oh, Clem, oh. This, you've actually struck another level. 2019, you can do what you want. God, There's no actually... nice way to get into the sandwich. That's why you're eating your That's dessert, dessert on the dessert TV. First. <laughs> you're just doing TV bites because you just <laughs> want to hike into that thing on TV. I just want to show the camera, like, the quality of the sandwich. Mm -hmm. you know, the I wouldn't lie, Breeze. Yeah. 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 You know what that is, good. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't lie, like, Shim. You hooked it up. Clem, I don't think this was mine. Yeah, it was, it was. That's yours. Because it's Definitely really good. Been. Thank you so much. You're a legend. Thank you so much, guys, for joining mm. us in the love today and spending your New Year's Eve, your New Year's Day with us. Thank you very much, and I wish all of your dreams for 2019 come Thank true. You. Thank you. For having You're going to go gold. You're going to the stars. We're going to gym. <laughs> <laughs>
Until tomorrow, we'll see you then. Good night and God bless. Ciao. <laughs>